This is the Global Economic Commodity Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by our Benley Roloff Trailer and Lugger Truck, April 26th, 2021. U.S. weekly crude steel production rose to 1.77 million gross ton as steel mill utilization rose to 78. Steel mill production remains low despite good demand, therefore bringing record high prices. WTI crude oil price fell to 62.14 a barrel, but remains high. Upbeat economic data, including high U.S. home sales, are supporting prices. Asia COVID increases are holding down major increases in price, though. The U.S. oil rig count fell to 3.43, still down 78.7% from 2014's high. The rig count may not recover for years if ever. The U.S. weekly oil production was steady at 11.0 million barrels per day, off from February 2020's record high of 13.1 million. Lower prices and low demand are keeping production low. Scrap deal number one, HMS export buying price Philly, rose to 3.45 a gross ton on good demand. The lower U.S. dollar is supporting higher exports. Scrap steel number one HMS was steady at 391.67 a gross ton with upward price pressure from May on good supply and increasing demand. Hot roll coil steel rose to 71.69 per hundred weight, yet another record high on good demand and tight supply. Copper price rose to $4.33 a pound, near a 10-year high on hopes of robust economic growth. Goldman Sachs forecast copper at $6.81 a pound by 2025. Aluminum price rose to $1.07 a pound, the highest since June 2018. There is strong demand and growing expectations of China shutting down some aluminum production to reduce emissions. The US dollar index, that's the dollar versus other global currencies. Generally, when the US dollar is low, commodities priced in US dollars are a high. The index fell to about 90.8 the third week of losses. With low current US interest rates, the US dollar is a poor investment. U.S. weekly initial unemployment claims fell to 547,000, the lowest level since March 2020. The economy continues to reopen on stimulus-fueled growth. U.S. March new single-family home sales jumped 20.7% the highest since August 2006 from February's low due to the adverse weather. Home inventory for sale is low down 7% from last year. U.S. April IHS Manufacturing Index rose to 60.6, a record growth of factory activity. This is despite capacity issues and ongoing seaport delays. Backlogs rose, as did cost increases, including transportation costs. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 158 points to 34,043, remaining near the record high. Financials and transportation were strong, but future higher taxes were a damper. The transportation index is at a record level, which is a very, very positive growth indicator. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions. We hope all have a safe and profitable week.